Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Well, I'll say the positives first and we can get into it. I think that our first period was our best period of the night. I thought we looked a lot more engaged tonight, a lot more physical. Um, and we were skating with them. I thought it was, uh, it was a very good period. After that, we, we saw it significant, significantly dip um, again. And I think that comes down to guys needing to be in better shape and mental fatigue, you start making mistakes. I thought our kill was exceptional tonight. Um, we found ourselves against a very fast uh, skating team um, and they drew a lot of penalties against us. Um, but as I mentioned, our kill was, was very good tonight. Uh, the one power play goal they got, um, uh, we were certainly out there, caught out there a little too long. Um, and you know what, I thought I saw um, an improvement in a number of players game from Thursday night's game, it was a short turnaround, but I thought Danik Goche was skating a lot better tonight. He was a lot more physical and um, you, you know, I thought with Bloods coming back from his surgery, um, I thought he was skating a lot better tonight. Um, I, I, it's apparent that we, we have a number of holes right now that we, we need to, to fix and, and, and plug a few of those gaps. Um, that'll come and, and we will get better. <clears throat> that team's going to be playing in the Champions League this year. They're going to do very well. Um, and, you know, they've been together since the end of July. Um, we got together with the guys at the end and I told them I'm not going to make excuses for them, but to recognize where we are. We've only skated together as a group. Um, I have a forward playing uh, defense on the power play right now. It's not going to be the position he plays in. I think it'll help once um, Scott Arson gets in um, and, and gets acclimatized to, to the team and ready to go. And, you know, we also have another D slot to fill um, right now. And um, I think it's important that, that we get the right right fix and, and get that, that person in as well. And I suppose this is what these these five games are all about. It's about you know sort of identifying these things like where the gaps are and and, yeah. and getting the guys back up to fitness and, and and used to the used to the systems. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that even as coaches, I think we can possibly be guilty at times of thinking that if you want to call it the magic is going to pick up right where we left off. Um, it's a new look team, and and we have a lot of individuals that have to get accustomed to the bigger size ice. Um, and the systems and you know there's a number we've only had for example I mean we really struggled with the concept of our our power play tonight um, but we've practiced it once um, you know not not for three weeks and in three weeks time if we're still having that problems then then we have an issue um, I think it was one time in the second period we broke out perfectly and you can see we, we, we gained the zone perfect um, but right now we're playing a little bit of run and gun hockey. It's, we're moving up and down the ice instead of creating battles um, deep in the corner. And um, you know how we tend to, to keep that high guy to eliminate odd man rushes. RD we're pinching tonight where they don't normally pinch and we didn't have a high guy, which led to another, once again, even it happened against Manitoba. Um, our goaltender was a lot busier than I would have liked, but um, that's another uh, probably big positive I should have pointed out. I thought Owen was exceptional again tonight as he was Thursday and and I, I, I really believe that uh, we knew what we were going to get out of him as a goaltender. Um, we, we play better in front of him. Um, his job is going to become easier. How important is it uh, with bringing back somebody like, like Shane Owen who you, you already have that history with and you already kind of understand how he works and he understands how you work? Yeah, and you know, if, I, if I'm going to be honest, we wanted him back the year before, but, you know, it was his goal to get to Sweden, and out of that situation, we're very fortunate to, to have the opportunity to have Andy here as well. Another fantastic goalie in our line of goalies here in the last six, seven years. Um, when Shane was available to come back and um, things weren't moving in the summer, um, we took that. and. You know, it might be tough to and leave a place and come back to it, but uh, he, he's, he's a consummate pro and um, he's come in with, uh, with a great attitude. Um, and, and that's a guy who hasn't skated at all in the summer either, so he's going he's gonna to only go from strength to strength. 
Uh, you mentioned Danny uh, Goatee, and certainly tonight, um, while he was he was on the ice, finishing off some some pretty big checks uh, against uh, Allberg, and then quite unfortunate to lose him at the point that he did. Yeah, and you know what? I didn't think that it was um, that severe. If anything, it was a little bit late after the whistle there. Um, I, I, I don't feel that it was a five in a game. It certainly warranted that. But um, that's the way we need Danik playing. Uh, he needs to play with that little bit of an edge. What that does is it creates a little bit of space for him and his teammates. And uh, when we have him skating like that, he's a very effective player in this league. It's up to me as a coach um, to make sure that he that he brings that night in, night out. It's, it's hard. It takes its toll on your body. But... Um, Danik's capable of taking a game on his shoulders and, and making things happen. And, um, you know, uh, another guy who, for one reason or the other, wasn't on the ice all summer. Um, so he's only skated five, five six times. Um, you know, but I, I thought he stepped up his game tonight up until the point we lost him. Mike, uh, Mike is all with a, a very nice goal. Um, just need a, a few more like that. Yeah, Mike was dangerous against us um, uh, last season. Uh, we, we liked his style of play. Um, and, and once again, he has to get accustomed to, you know, our systems and whatnot and, and get used to his line mates. But I think we'll see a lot more uh, uh, of them from him. And we really have a, a talented group of forwards that we're working with. Um, I think if we can get the puck into their hands a lot quicker, um, we'll see that. And, and once a couple of bigger bodies that we have get accustomed to this big ice because what people don't understand is they probably play in rinks more the size of Manchester over in North America and you come here and some players excel in it some players initially get lost in it and, it, and it's about finding that that ice for example you know instead of instead of three strides to the corner it's 14 strides to the corner and um, that's a that's a big adjustment um, but as I said we have three weeks to make that that uh, or well, two weeks now to make that those adjustments and um, you know what I you know we have, uh, some concerns that guys aren't in yet and stuff like that but we're addressing it and uh, any adjustments we have to make we'll make uh, and just finally for for anybody wondering uh, whether to, whether or not to come down tomorrow night what what would you expect from the from the game tomorrow yeah, much the same. And, and as I said, I thought in the, certainly in the first period we stepped up our game. We're going to continue to step up our game. Those guys aren't happy about losing two games on the trot, and it's not going to be something that we're going to want to make a habit of. I thought that the crowd, and, and I've said this before, it's an intelligent crowd. They know their hockey. Um, you, you know, they were a little quiet. Cause we didn't give them enough to, to cheer about tonight, but we're going to continue to get better, and their support is, is greatly appreciated. It's a nice way to welcome these guys to town, and and show that uh, they're going to be behind them uh, for the entire season. Todd, thanks very much. Thank you. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.